Okay, testing one, two, three, and then we'll get started here. Uh, and Fib, you can hit me up there if you know that you're hearing me and see me. Uh, I'll be doing this with my uh, helper, my friend, who's going to be chatting with me. I just noticed I have some a money making icon up there. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's begin. All right, uh, again, it's my first time using this. Uh, it's going to be my first time doing this type of video. And I hope you guys are patient with me. Uh, and uh, I don't know how to edit afterwards, so if there's, I screw up during it, I screw up during it. I'm using this software because I really like it through uh, Mogulus uh, because it does a few things. Number one, you get to see me. Uh, number two, you get to see my screen at the same time. Uh, or number three, if you want, we could see uh, me and the screen at the same time. So it's pretty nice. Um, it does some neat things. I'm going to be getting used to it as I work. Um, MFEM, my uh, friend, will be hitting me up if she has any questions as I go. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. And we'll go from there. So our uh, tutorial today is basically about how to use PR Storm. It's a lot of talk on the forums about what is PR Storm. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? Does it suck? Does it not work? How to use it? And I noticed myself in trying to learn some of these things that sometimes it's a little difficult to figure out how to use it without a, somebody walking you through it. And some of us are not as fast as others. So I want to show you how I work it, how it's successful, and actually show a URL that's actually using it. Um, at the risk of b having it banned because I don't care if it does because it's just a screw around learn what I'm doing thing and I hope you enjoy it okay so let's talk about what we need to do well in using PR Storm there's a few things we need to do number one we need to make sure we have some fresh proxies we need to make sure we have some good URLs we need to clean up the URLs afterwards and then finally we're going to run PR Storm so there's going to be a little bit to this tutorial here because instead of just having it uh, hey here's PR Storm and you already have to have everything I'm going to assume you really don't know what you're doing so uh, let's start here I have a folder created, and we're going to start off by getting some proxies. Um, everybody's got their own utility. I'm not going to tell you where to get this. Uh, if you're pretty, hopefully, learn how to at least uh, browse a little bit, and you'll be able to download this off of uh, the form that you're reading this on. Uh, and if not, just good old Google. Now, your question is okay, this is great. You have a proxy checker, but how did you use it? Uh, and hopefully, some people might want to answer the trivia question in the forum replies of which Greek mythology par par character this is based on? Ooh, trivia question. Well, let's continue. First off, we need to get some proxies, okay? I'm going to go to a good old proxy fire. I grab the elite proxy list, and let me show you how I do it. It may not be the fastest way. Let's do a quick copy of all these. Copy. I have good old Microsoft Excel open. Uh, I'm actually going to open up a new page here just so you can see it from scratch. And I'm going to do a paste. Now, if I just do regular paste, it looks like crap, right? So we don't want to do that. Make sure you right mouse click and go paste special, text, okay. And now we've got a, a list of proxies. Um, again, for this tutorial, I'm not going to go through every site that has them, but they're in there. Um, if you use this particular product, again, for free, but we're not talking about spending any money, you'll notice there's all these question marks, and these are the port numbers, okay? The problem with when you do a control replace is that question mark is, of course, as some of you may or may not know, a variable. So we actually put in a question mark and search replace, it'll destroy everything. So let's not do that. Simply do this. Do it here. Control C. I'm going to open a good old notepad. Okay. Control V. Paste it. And now we have this. Edit. Replace the question mark with absolutely nothing. I've now cleaned off all of that. Okay. Uh, we're going to select all. Copy. Go back to Excel, and again, everybody's going to have their own way of doing this. I'm not saying my way is the fastest or the best, but this is a very user-friendly way of doing it, and that's how come I'm showing it this method. Um, the correct format when you're talking about IP addresses with port numbers is to have a colon in between, which is one of these. Do that. You double-click here. You now I've got colons all the way down. Whoops, I added too many rows. We're going to delete that. Okay, going back to the screen. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, but now we have all this, that doesn't help us, right? So let's add in a couple rows here. Hopefully this will make sense. And what we need to do is have an IP colon port number. So in Excel, 
equals, type in C-O-N, and concatenate will show up. So click on that, then do this, hit the comma key, this, hit the comma key, this, hit enter, and we now have a column, and I apologize for the background noise, hopefully it's not too bad, of an IP address colon port number. Double click, and we now have our proxies. So we're going to take that, control C. Now we need to process it into our proxy checker. How do we do that? We have this uh, software open, and again, hopefully at this point you've tried to find it and you know how to use it. At this point, you could actually even start going into PR Storm if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to decide not to. I'm actually want to go ahead and clean them up. So what do we do? Again, I don't want to go through a whole utility of how you use the software and what you need to do and how to leachable pages and all that. At this some point, you're going to have to actually look up some things yourself. So what I need you to do is come here. We're going to delete all proxies from the list, just so I have something new so you can see it. Load from clipboard, and notice that it automatically selects it. So automatically picking it up, and again, I really strongly suggest there's a couple of good threads in uh, a couple of places on how to configure this for the first time if you're unfamiliar. And if uh, there is some requests, I'll be more than happy to go into more detail of each of these steps, but I really don't want to, I this thing will become a one hour video if we go step by step on that, right? Uh, the important things you need to know are the judge options, okay, and the site options. There's a very good thread on uh, the site if you look on how to use this for the first time, I believe. Um, somebody did a very, very good job on the forum, and again, good old Google, okay? So now you're on the site, you've got your proxies, and you want to go ahead and check the proxies, okay? I'm going to assume everything is ready to go, and all your configuration's going, and it's going to go. I'm saying yes because I haven't gone through. It's actually a version I set up. See it's going here on the big good. And because I didn't update it, and everybody who knows how to use the software knows what I'm talking about, which is updating two files. Make sure, if you're not sure what you need to do, that all you have to do is upload this file and update this file. So these are the two things, the Planet Lab and Unique Internet Services. Make sure that they are updated before you get going into that, okay? Make sure you can see that a little better. Unique Services and Planet Lab, or, whoops, sort of by date. You can see these are the ones I actually, I actually updated a little bit ago, so I'm not sure why that did that, but not, nonetheless, we now have some proxies. When you're done, save them. Save them into the PR Storm folder into a file called proxies.txt, just like this, and hit save. I already did this earlier. I don't want to overdo it. Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Save. Okay? We now have some proxies into PR Storm, which is our first part. Next, we need to get some URLs. There's no point in having good old uh, PR Storm with just proxies and no URLs. So let's go into that next step. How do you find the URLs? What software do you use? What utilities do you use? Again, thanks to my favorite star, and I apologize, you know, before I started doing this, I should have looked up who wrote which package, and I apologize um, for anybody who I don't give credit to. I am mentioning the, uh, this, the packages particularly, so Rhino, thank you very much there. Uh, this is, of course, one of my favorite utilities. Everybody's got their own Scrape Genius by Blackout Automation. Um, I think it's great. So we need to find out what to scrape. Now, this is the trick. What we're trying to do is find sites that are going to help us get traffic. How do we do that? Well, we're going to find some key key terms, and let me show you what we're looking for. Um, starting right here, here would be uh, traffic from AW Stats, and here's exactly what we're looking for. Again, come on, you piece of crap. What we're basically doing is we're going into where Refer pops up and showing the traffic. So scrolling down here. We'll see some pages. We see connected from. Notice that these are links. Okay. We're going to see some referred traffic. What else would we see? Look at this one here. There's uh, another search term. We're going to go through the search terms in a little more detail. Don't feel like you're missing anything here right now. These type of files here. Let's look at this one. Again, I apologize for the net going a little bit of slow. Okay, let me put it back on the screen now that i got a file that I don't want you to see. I'm trying to make it light, not let you see uh, my names and passwords as I log in, so that's how you have to see my ugly face at some times. Here we go, this is a good one. Okay, so, looking down here, we see the refers. These are the refers that we're trying to get a list on. Notice that it's a link. If you did a view, you would know that it's a do follow link. So this is what we're trying to do, is we're trying to get thousands of links by manipulating and or just referring. Sometimes it's referred to as refer or spam. Visit, visitor spam, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of terms for it. At any rate,